Hi and welcome to Barely Coding and I'm your host Daniel Park and today we're looking into shell scripts and we are going to explore if we can write our own shell scripts using JavaScript. So first let's talk about what a shell script is and why it works. So one example of a shell command that I can type is pwd. It will print the path to the current folder that I'm in. But why does that work? Where is pwd? What code is being run for this to work? Well, I'm going to show you a variable called path. And this variable has a string of paths separated by colons. So if we take ls to one of these folders for example the bin user bin folder we can see that in this folder we have a bunch of files and for example in the middle there there is a file called yes so if i type yes it should look inside this folder for a file matching yes and run that one and i will do that now Ooh. So yes, apparently just prints a bunch of whys. We want a place to store our JavaScript shell scripts. So I have created a folder called .js. And of course I had to add that folder to the path. So if I echo path again, we see that in the beginning of the string, there is actually a reference to that folder. We don't want to add this to this path variable just once because then if we reload the terminal, it will disappear. So there is a file for that. It's uh, usually a file that starts with a dot and ends with an RC. So if I go to my home directory and I cat my dot C shell RC because I am not using bash, I am using C shell we can see that it's taking the path variable, adding the .js path to the beginning, adding a colon and then the rest of the path. So every time I open my C shell, this path to my .js folder is being added to the front of it. And if you're using bash, then you will have a .bash RC file. Let's go back to the .js folder so now I want to create a file in here and I don't want an extension to it. I just touch hello. Now we have a file called hello here and let's try writing something in it. So I will write echo hi from hello. That makes sense, right? And now I will try, I will leave this folder just to make sure it works from anywhere. I will type hello and now it should fail because we don't have permission to execute the hello file. So let's go back into .js. We will do change mode. We will add x plus x to hello and now it should be executable. So let's, let's go back to our home directory and we'll type hello again. Nice, now our file actually ran and we can even, we can, from any uh, folder, we can just type hello and our file will run. But this is not JavaScript. We want to run JavaScript in this file. So let's change this. Console log hi from JS, save. Let's add a little semicolon as well. So now what will happen? Will this work? I will leave the .js folder. Uh, will this work? Hello? It will not work because now the shell is just trying to run this, but the shell does not understand JavaScript. It's a syntax error for the shell. So we need to tell the shell how to run this file. We will add something called a shebang, which is a hash and then exclamation mark now we'll say node and of course we need to have node installed in our on our machine for this to work i will save it and now i will run hello again 
Nice, now we have our first shell script in JavaScript running. Hi from JS. But that's not super useful, so now let's try to create something a little bit more useful. This command pvd, pwd, that prints the path. I often do that and then I copy the path, but what if I could do that with just one command, like pwd? pwdc which would be pwd copy let's see if we can achieve that so i will go into .js again i will touch pwdc that will give us a file and of course we need the shebang node i think this thing that we're going to do now will only work if you are in mac os require child process dot spawn pb copy we have that store in a variable called proc and now we will do proc dot std in dot write and this is how we can get something into the clipboard what we pass into write here we get into the clipboard so how do we get the folder that we're in? Well, we can do process for the node process dot cwd and call that because that means current working directory in node. And then we should also do proc dot stamilin dot end. Let's see if this works. We also need to add the permissions to this pvdc, so change mode plus x pwdc. So now it should be executable. Let's see, we have nothing on the clipboard now. pwdc, nothing happened, that's fine. And now I will paste. See, it worked. So now we have a way to copy the path into our clipboard with just typing pwdc. That's pretty cool and it's all written in JavaScript. Another thing that I do a lot is that I create a new git repo and then I want to create a git ignore file. And I always, since I work in JavaScript, I always have node modules ignored in the git ignore file. And this is something that we should be able to create a quick little shell command for. Well, let's go into .js again. And then we will touch, we'll just call it git ignore. And we'll do change mod plus x git ignore. There we go, we have a file here. We'll do node. And now we are going to need to use the node module for file system. So we'll do const fs equals require fs. To create this file we can do fs.write file and we need to give it a path. So let's put that path in a variable const new file path. We'll say that where we stand slash dot git ignore and then we'll take new file path here and then we can give some content to put into this file so we will say add node modules to this file and then we give it a callback function and here we can get any errors passed into the function. So now if we had an error, we of course want to console log that. Else we can, we can say something to indicate that it was successful. git ignore created successfully. But 
there's one thing that we should check. What if we already had a git ignore file and then we start to overwrite it? There is a function in fs we can use that is fs dot exists and we can add the synchronous version of exists new file path. So if this exists, we can say console dot git ignore already exists. We put the rest inside an else here. Okay, so should we try this now? So let's run command git ignore. I missed a comma. Let's add a comma here. Let's try again. Git ignore. Dot git ignore created successfully. If we run it a second time, git ignore already exists. So now let's check the content of the git ignore. We will cat dot git ignore. And it has node modules. That's awesome. Just go wild, create some cool JavaScript shell commands. And if you come up with something, if you create one yourself, then let me know in the comments. And if you learned something in this video and want to support the channel, please thumbs up the video and become a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.